Hello and Namaste. In continuation with the linear algebra topic matrices, we have started with the similarity and diagonalization. Under the similarity and diagonalization, we have completed the part one where we have discussed about the eigenvalues uh, which are distinct and corresponding to that how to diagonalize the given matrix. In the part two, we'll be just going ahead with the different kind of questions wherein we will we will be getting in this cases. We'll be discussing on the repeated eigenvalues, how to go about and diagonalize the matrix, in which case the matrix could be diagonalized, and how to go about and write down the matrix D and matrix M. So in for in this series, let's let's just go for the first question as this, which is three cross three, and my question is check whether the matrix is diagonalizable. Comma diagonalize if it is. Then again we have to go for the Cartesian equation, which is lambda cube minus summation of a i i i is moving from one to three lambda square plus summation of m i i i is one one to three into lambda minus determinant of a is equals to zero. I would suggest you to please follow the previous session wherein I have discussed on the eigenvalues which are repeated. Again there are two different parts. Please uh, do follow this. Then again, the summation of AII is coming out to be one, which is the sum of the diagonal elements. Then summation of MII as the sum of minors of diagonal elements, which are coming out to be minus five. Then determinant of a matrix capital A is three. Putting all these values here in this equation, we'll be getting the Cartesian equation as lambda cube minus lambda square minus five lambda minus three is equals to zero. Solving this particular equation by might be uh, by your um, um, uh, traditional method, or otherwise you can go ahead with a calculator and go. It. Please follow the playlist uh, from the channel uh, named as mathematical tools. Under that, I have discussed about the mode of equation, equation or everything about the equation mode. So this is the values we have got it here as minus one, minus one, three. That means here algebraic multiplicity of minus one is two. That means this minus one is repeated for two times, and this algebraic multiplicity of three is equals to one. This is repeated only once. So that's the reason algebraic multiplicity of three is equals to one. Now what are, what is this here? As the eigen value minus one is repeated. Two times we need to check for the geometric multiplicity of minus one, and this is what is the decision-making statement for us. That means what we instead of going directly for the eigen vector corresponding to this three and putting our time into it, rather than that we will go and find out the eigen vector corresponding to this mi minus one. We try to find out. That means what we will have to find out the number of parameters that is the rank of a minus lambda times i. Uh, that is uh, uh, rank of a matrix and n minus r. So if if this is coming, so that means what? If we are getting the geometric multiplicity of this particular minus one is equals to two, then only the given matrix would be diagonalizable because A M and G M will coincide with each other. That means they are equal. Then only it's it's a it's a possible for us to go for a diagonalization. Otherwise, we can't go for a diagonalizable. Or diagonalization of a matrix. That's the reason this is decision making, and we will be going ahead with the first time lambda is equals to minus one. So we will go first with the repeated eigen value. So we have got minus one as a repeated. So we'll be going quickly because it's a repeated. We have already discussed based on this how to go about how to find out the Rue Kalon form as it is. It is a repeated. We have to go for a Rue Kalon form. We need to find out the rank of a matrix using a Rue Kalon form. So if you observe here, we have got only one non-zero. Uh, row here in this matrix, and that's the reason we got the rank of a matrix is one. We have got number of variables three, and hence we got the number of linearly independent vectors corresponding to eigenvalue lambda equals to minus one is n minus r, that is three minus one is equals to two. Please follow the previous session wherein the concepts I have explained uh, in uh, detail about the how when to go for a diagonalization, when we can't go for the diagonalization. What is algebraic multiplicity? What is geometric multiplicity? Please go ahead and follow that concept video first, and then go for that. The same video I would be uh, providing you with this I button. Please follow it up. Then that means what geometric multiplicity of minus one is two. This two is nothing but This is the number which we have got it here. So this two is this number. This two is this number as two, and therefore A M and G M of minus one is coinciding. They are equal. We have got only one vector from this vector. We have two. Now its parameter means two parameters. That means we have to assume uh, any two of the variables out of x, y, and z. So we are saying that okay, y is equals to t one, z equals to some t two, which are from the real numbers. Therefore. 
taking this t1 and t2 putting here in this equation will be getting the this values of value of x as 1 by 2 times t1 plus 1 by 2 times t2 so this is x is in terms of t1 and t2 t2 so that means this x that is xyz is in terms of this so we have put the value of x y and z separating them into t1 and t2 the t2 that so this is the column for t1 this is the column for t2 so we have got this is nothing but same as we can write down t1 outside t2 outside so 1 by 2 1 0 1 by 2 0 1 respectively capital x and capital sorry capital x1 capital x2 that means what we have got x1 as 1 by 2 1 0 1 by 2 0 1 respectively x1 and x2 which are the basis for the eigen space corresponding to lambda equals to minus of 1 now here we can we can here we can say that okay this is because this was a decision making statement for us because if the am of minus 1 and gm of minus 1 coincide they are equal we can say that diagonalization happen that means this particular matrix is diagonalizable and hence now it's a wise decision to go ahead and find out the next eigen vector corresponding to lambda equals to 3 otherwise it's not required if we would have got it here not equal here then it's not required for for us to go ahead and find out the eigen vector corresponding to 3 but yes we got it they are equal then it, then there is a um, i diagonalization is possible therefore we will be going for because it's again it's a different eigen value you can say distinct we have to go using the kramer's rule we'll be finding out the value we have got the vector as this i'm purposely giving you the basis also here for this type of examples so x3 is 1 1 2 as the basis so that means what we have got the third vector as well for this lambda equals to 3 now lambda is our minus 1 minus 1 3 vectors are x1 x2 x3 you can take this t1 also along with this do not have an issue you can take it otherwise you can just uh, write down m with the help of basis as well remember that it is completely this this x1 and x2 y might be different for any uh, anybody else because i have taken the values assume the values of y and z suppose somebody is assuming the value of x and y or x and z the values would be different so x1 x2 values would be different because we are having here the case of infinitely many solutions that's the reason this x1 and x2 might be different for the, the for the person who has taken the different uh, equations or might be different uh, uh, values of those x y z therefore this am of minus 1 equals to gm of minus 1 is equals to 2 and am of 3 is equals to gm of 3 is equals to 1 therefore am and gm are coincides for all the eigen values therefore the capital a is diagonalizable how will we do that so d is minus 1 minus 1 3 which are the diagonals as the eigen values of this corresponding m we have to write down in this way because if i'm taking this minus 1 in the first column of this d so first column of this m have to be filled with the vector of this minus 1 similarly the another one so it's it's not required you can yeah this this particular matrix this particular rows uh, columns can be swapped because they are same as that of minus 1 but you can't take the first at the third place because third place has been given to us given uh, uh, to this three which is the uh, three is having the vector as 1 1 2 so whenever wherever this three is coming over here in d in that particular column only the particular vector should come down as the value of m and hence the matrix is diagonalizable this is the part 2 where we have discussed whenever we have got the am and gm of all the uh, repeated as well as non repeated values are equal okay so part 3 would be little different than what we have discussed in part 1 and 2 okay and therefore this is a self observation slide check whether the following matrices are diagonalizable comma diagonalize if they are again i would like to tell you the same thing the minus 3 minus 3 is repeating i have got these vectors i have got these vectors corresponding to what values i have assumed it would be different for you whenever you are going ahead with so if you wanted to have this particular first matrix the eigen values are 5 minus 3 minus 3 vectors are 1 2 minus 1 minus 2 0 0 3 0 1 so i have taken here consider here the basis you can consider the t1 t2 whatever you have assumed the values inside this m also that that can be possible here with this 
I hope you have understood this type of uh, diagonalization whenever we have got a repeated and when the repeated eigenvalues AM and GM coincides with each other. I think you have understood, right? Thank you. Happy learning. Bye-bye.